Hi guys, good day. This is Teacher MJ. And our topic for today, it's all about permutations, particularly circular permutations. And this is quite tricky class since we're dealing with a round table and we have five girls and five boys. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So how many ways can five girls and five boys be seated at a round table? First question there, no restrictions. Letter B, they need to occupy the alternate seats. Letter C, three particular boys must sit together. And letter D, all boys must sit together. Alright? So let's try to answer this one. Do not forget the questions. No restrictions. They need to occupy the alternate seats. Three particular boys must sit together. And all boys must sit together. Alright, so let's try to answer this one. Letter A. No restrictions. So no restrictions. So once again, class, if we draw this one. So this is the circle. And you have, so since it is no restriction, so again, you have five boys and five girls. So you have ten positions. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So no restriction class, once again, no restrictions. It means that they can sit anywhere in this position. But do not forget, in circular permutation, the formula is P is equals to N minus 1 factorial. Now, if you want to know how do, you, how do we get this formula or how do we derive this formula, I do have a link in the description below in solving basic circular permutation. So, it's better for you to see that video first before you, you uh, solve for this one because this is quite tricky. So, this is the formula class N minus 1 factorial. So, if you're dealing with a circle, so what if we say you have uh, you have three people and you want to arrange this the, th the three people in a circle So you have the three people here now in a circle class You always remember always remember this one that in a circle So to get this formula always remember this one that in a circle you always have a fixed point fixed point So if you choose this one as your fixed point So if you choose this one as your fixed point you only have two options or two positions left. So there will be two factorial ways left. So two factorial ways. One, two. Because in a circle class, always remember this one. In a circle, you always have a fixed point. So you choose this one as your fixed point. You can choose anywhere in these positions as your fixed point and just count the remaining uh, positions left. Okay? So you can solve this one as like this. So if you want to solve in how many ways you can arrange three people in the particular table, so the form the your answer will be P equals so you this is your fixed point, this is one as your fixed point. You label that as one multiplied by the number of positions left. So one, two. Okay, one, two. So you have two options left or two positions left, two factorial ways, two factorial. So this is equivalent to two factorial. 1 times 2 factorial, so that would be 2 factorial, it means uh, 1 times 2 factorial, 2 times 1, so you will get 1 times 2, that would be 2, 2, the answer is 2, okay, 1 times, 1 times 2 times 1, 2 times 1 is 2, 1 times 2 is 2, so that's it. For me class, I prefer to use this one rather than using the formula because I, I, I am sure when we illustrate this one, this is more easier than using the formula. If no restrictions, of course, we can use the formula because this is quite easy. So, if no restriction class, so what if we say this one a while ago, so we use the formula P equals 4N, just count how many three, how many people that you want to arrange. So, 1, 2, 3, so 3 minus 1 factorial. So, 3 minus 1 is equivalent to 2 factorial. You will get the same answer, which is 2. Okay, so in this one, in no restrictions, we can use the formula to make it easier. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, you want to arrange 5 boys. So, we have 5 boys and 5 girls. So, just count or just add the uh, total number of persons. So, 5, 5. So, we have 10. So, P equals 10 minus 1 factorial. So, 10 minus 1, that's 9 factorial. And 9 factorial... So use the calculator 
nine shift this one so three hundred sixty two thousand eight hundred eighty ways if you want to use the formula that's the answer three thousand uh, no, three hundred sixty two thousand eight hundred eighty ways okay for no restriction we can use the formula they're very easy n minus one but for me class I prefer to use this one uh, when I draw the illustration I will make any of this point as my you know any of this position as my fixed point so I can use this one as my fixed point or this one okay I can use this one as my fixed point so P equals the fixed point here I label it as 1 times the remaining positions 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so you have 9 factorial ways so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 9 factorial ways 9 positions 9 factorial ways so they can sit any any on this positions left and this one your first person here is your fixed point so 1 times 9 factorial ways so 9 factorial ways the same answer 362,880 times 1 that's 362,880 ways so for no restriction class you can use the formula but if you if your if the question is like three particular boys must sit together it's hard for you to use the the formula all right so let's try to answer letter B okay letter B so example like this if you want to use the formula you cannot so you cannot solve this one by using the formula it's very hard for you to use the the formula if no restrictions that would be easy because you just multiply uh, subtract one by the number of people but if you are dealing with this question you cannot use the for it's hard for you to use the formula so they need to occupy the alternate seats all right so if you have the circle and you have 10 options uh, no 10 positions 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so 10 up 10 positions and you want to you want them to occupy the alternate seats so what if we say this is our boy so this is boy 1 so boy girl boy 1 girl 1 boy 2 girl 2 boy 3 girl 3 boy 4 girl 4 boy 5 girl 5 so you want them to be alternately sitting or alternately sorry you want them to sit alternately so so we have boy 1 boy girl boy 2 so that's boy 1 girl 1 boy 2 girl 2 so you choose any of this position class as your fixed point that's the first option that you will do so so that you can answer this one is easily so I can choose this one as my fixed point this one on the top so this is my fixed point so your formula that is permutation equals your fixed point that is your first number one always remember that one your fixed point is one times so you count how many positions for girls so for girls one two three four five so you have five factorial ways one two three four five so five factorial ways for girls and for boys for boys since this is your first their your first position or fixed position so this is your fixed position so for boys the remaining position will be one two three four four factorial ways so just use the formula five factorial times four factorial five factorial times four factorial and you get two thousand 880 ways all right so we do have another formula what if we say that you choose that your first the, your fixed position is girl so what if this is girl so this is girl one so what if you choose this one as your girl the the fixed position girl this is boy two and a boy one girl two boy two girl 3 boy 3 uh, this is girl 4 boy 4 girl 5 boy 5 so what if we choose your girl as your fixed position so girl this girl 1 here is your fixed position so that would be 1 times so how many this is once again a while ago we have girl this one is girl 
girl, boy. So, for girls, if you label this one, for girls, how many position now for girls? Since you choose girl as your fixed position, so for girls, so one. Do not count this one, class. This is your fixed position. That is one. So, for girls, one, two, three, four. So, four factorial. And for boys, so one, two, three. Uh, for boys, uh, let's read the, the green one. For boys, one, two, three, four, five. So you have five factorial ways. So you will get the same answer, class. Okay? So 2,880 ways. So once again, class, if you're dealing with this kind of question, you need to have the fixed position to answer that one. Alright, so let's try letter C. So letter C, three particular boys must sit together. So three particular boys must sit together. So you draw a circle and you have ten options. I uh, know ten positions. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So ten positions. And you want three boys must sit together. So we can have boy one. Boy 2 and boy 3, they sit together. So once again, class, if they sit together in permutation, this is counted as 1. Okay? This one right here is counted as 1. Alright? This position here, counted as 1. Alright? If you want them to sit together, counted as 1. So, uh, you can have, you can choose any of the fixed point here. So, always have a fixed point. You can choose anywhere in this position class. This one is counted as one position. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, you can count any of this position as your... You can choose any of this position as your fixed point. So, I will choose... You can choose this one as your fixed point. Okay, I will choose this one as my fixed point. So, one because this is one position. Times. So, how many positions left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven factorial ways. And do not forget that we can choose a that this particular boys here, the three boys, they can arrange themselves. Boy three can sit this right here, and boy two can sit here. Boy one can sit in the middle. Boy one can sit on the third part. So these three boys right here, they can arrange themselves in three factorial ways. So three factorial ways times three. Alright, so once again, a while ago, I chose this one as my fixed fixed position. So that's why I put one. But actually, I can, anywhere in this position, I can choose the fixed point. So what if I say I choose this one as my fixed point? So how many positions left? So how many positions left? If I choose this one as my fixed point, of course, you will get the same answer. So one, count it as one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven factorial. So this is my first fixed point. So this is one. And we have five, seven options, seven positions left. So seven factorial ways. Sir, where did you get three factorial? Three factorial, I get this here. Because these three boys here can arrange themselves in themselves in three factorial ways. Three factorial. So one times any number multiply by one. So you can actually cancel one because one times any number, the answer is the number itself. So seven factorial times three factorial is equivalent to thirty thousand two hundred forty ways. That's it, class. Right? Very easy, right? So the thing that you will do is you just need to have a fixed position. Let's try last question, letter D. All boys must sit together. So we have circle, we draw a circle. And you have 10 positions. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And you want boy, all boys must sit together. So we have, if this is boy 1, boy 2, boy 3, boy 4, or the fourth boy, boy 5. And you want them to sit together. So therefore, you count this as 1. Because you want them to sit together. Count it as 1 position. Alright, so the, the the answer here is P equals, so you can choose any, okay, once again class, this five boys here, 
we want them to sit together so we count this as one always remember that one count this as one position so we have one two three four five six six positions left and since you want to have a fixed point so you can choose any of this position as your fixed point you can choose this one this one this one okay i will choose this one as my fixed position so this is one times so how many positions left if i choose this one as my fixed position so how many positions left one two three four five one two three four five five factorial and for boys so once again you can arrange this one you can arrange this one okay you can arrange this one in five factorial ways the boy one to boy five they can arrange themselves in five factorial ways so boy one can sit here boy one can sit here boy two can sit here uh, boy three can sit here boy two can sit here so five factorial ways times five factorial so five factorial times five factorial so that's fourteen thousand four hundred ways so that's it class that's it that's how you solve for tricky permutations in a round table so the thing that you will do class so the thing that you need to remember is you need to have a fixed position okay fixed position so that's it i hope you like this video if you like this video feel free to subscribe i hope you learned something new today and you have a great day goodbye for now bye bye